Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In a market that just seems so dead at the moment, there's a few cards that people are actually buying, and that might be the best place to trade right now on this game. We're going to take a look at that and some market movements today, but also, we have a big SBC that could be coming as EA once again showed us the content we're going to be getting through the rest of this week, and there's cards that you need to think about selling very soon. We're going to talk about that in today's video as well if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content of course as we always do starting off with a trend that we're starting to notice with upgrade SBCs, specifically the second type of marquee matchups uefa marquee matchups has dropped now on a monday each of the last two weeks before the Champions League, Europa League, all of those European competitions having games. So the Mondays now seem to be the day that we're getting this SBC. It is very cheap to complete, except for FC Copenhagen players have gone to the moon. So check your club. If you're doing the SBC, make sure you use it in there first. But since they're required in this one, I'm pretty sure there are players that are like 10,000 coins. So make sure you check your club for those players. Milan PSG, the packs here, they're decent. They're not bad. It is a cheap SBC to do 83% upvoted according to the footbin machine and that's just some decent tradable supply but honestly that didn't impact prices a lot yesterday it wasn't like we had prices dropping a ton on centurion's team too a lot of these prices stayed right around the same the team of the week i wouldn't say dropped a lot as well they're really around the same price for a lot of these cards as well and even sbc fodder as we will take a look at really didn't drop that much it more so went up because of some other sbcs now yesterday we also did have a 75 plus player pick guys to be honest i don't like the value here i don't i mean you're turning in 11 gold players to get a one of three 75 plus player pick back and if you haven't finished the centurion's crafting upgrade you literally get every you get three players right so it's like a 75 plus player pick that you get all the players back from inside of this this is still the best upgrade pack if you have not finished the crafting upgrade there i would do those first but i will say from the 75 plus player picks that we opened yesterday the weight does seem to be better we had some walkouts we had consistently more 83s and 84s which is fodder that we need right now so i wouldn't sleep on the 75 plus player picks but only do them after you finish the centurion's crafting upgrade in my opinion now elsewhere as a part of content yesterday we had an sbc that was really not expected and it's the one that's making the most waves the centurions 100 upgrade pack drop yesterday on this game Seventy thousand coins to get this sbc done guys again we talked about this a lot in stream do i really think that it's worth it I don't. I don't think that it's worth it, really, if I'm going to be completely honest. But if it's something that you want to try, think of this basically as like a gamble pack. If you want to try this SBC, because it sounds fun to do, right? I opened it yesterday. I had some 83s and 84s. I got two walkouts back out of it, but I didn't get much else. Uh, you can craft this through upgrade packs if you do want to give it a shot, but don't expect anything crazy. We opened probably like 7 to 10 of these on stream, and we got one promo card. And the promo card was Sebastian uh, Bourneau, the Wolfsburg center back. That was our only promo card that we got. So, this SBC is definitely a gamble. Again, that's what I would say to treat it as. Kind of like an upgrade pack, like a hero upgrade or an icon upgrade, except it's just cheaper and it has the uh, allure of a hundred different players you do get a lot of silvers and bronzes which for me i ended up putting into the blanc sbc doing the silver and bronze squads for those icon species which is a little bit helpful and it also could give you some of those silvers that you maybe need if you're trying to pack a, a, a silver like allison trini or any of those cards that are really needed for evos it does give you an opportunity to try to pack some of those rare silver cards as well. But really, like that's just kind of a fun, risky pack to do. But since it is a fun, risky pack to do, and it's at least 52% upvoted, and not that expensive, it is making prices move. Fodder was the place to be. Guys, these are the cards. This part of the market right now is where people are buying you're seeing prices go up on the 83s 84s and 85s specifically i bought a bunch of 85s i talked about it in yesterday's video if you guys bought 85s as well around 7,000 coins they went up big a lot of these were 82 8300 which they still are right now on the market i ended up selling my 85s for around 8.2 to 8.7 k for basically all of them yesterday i took the quick cash they could go higher today though and that's why i want to say if you're trading on the market right now, again, a lot of people have been buying 83s at like 1,100, 1,200 coins. I still think there's an opportunity to bid on some of these 83s 
and lazy sell them for above 2000 coins because this is just the part of the market that people are getting people are spending coins on the 83s to the 85s now i do want to shout 82s because the more the 83s go up the more the 84s go up 82s might eventually start to lift off the ground a little bit as well. They're about 700 coins each on bid. It's a little bit of a risk, but if you find a couple of those and maybe start listing them at 1,000 coins, if you're on a really low budget, that could be a part of fodder that could still potentially move. Um, but really, it's the 83s to 85s. Now, it would really take another 84 times 2 pack or something like that to make fodder move more today. So I'm not going out and telling you that you need to invest in some of these 84s because they are inflated a lot already. You're buying at a very inflated amount. But if we do get another sort of upgrade pack like that today, these guys could continue to move. This is the place in the market that I would be trying to get bids on. Buy and lazy list, like a couple hundred coins above. It works best for the 83s, um, just because there's a lot less tax there. People are just buying cards in this part of the market right now. Now, also, informs, all informs, they were 14,000 coins. I'm going to check their prices right now. Oh, they're still going up. Informs are even higher. Informs are 15k a piece. 15,000 coins a piece for all informs right now in this game are 14,750. They are up and they're in demand because of that 100 player upgrade pack as well. If you club stocked informs, once again, GG. I've got a bunch in my club, probably like 10 of them, I think. I've been using a few of them in SBCs here or there. Try to use my intradables first. But I think I'm going to hold on to some of my club stocked informs still because. I think they could go higher, but just know that those player prices are starting to rise. Even though we have a team of the week player pick, we have a team of the week upgrade pack that's been in this game like since the beginning, these informs are still starting to rise because people would rather go and pay the price off the market to get the card than turn in more fodder into a player pick SBC for that. So I wanted to point that out, and I want to point out fodder just again in general. We're going to talk about it a bit more in the video is... High rated fodder people are starting to hone in on. They're starting to look at last year during Black Friday, which is coming up in a few weeks. And they're talking about buying and investing in high rated fodder. In my opinion, guys, it's too early. Okay. It's too early because you have to invest now and wait basically like 20 days for it to go up, three weeks, right? I think that's too long of a wait time. I would rather chance it and hope that 87 and above rated fodder would potentially go down before then and have another drop, whether it's this weekend, maybe during the week next week, if the content starts to dip a little bit, fall off, less SBCs. I'd rather wait for that than invest now and just continue to hold. At the very most, maybe a club stock where you buy one and put it in the club, something like that, because yes, some of these cards like I wouldn't be surprised if 90 rated are like 65k at some point. Like they've got the price ranges to do it, right? Benzema can go to 95,000 coins. Lewandowski's got a 100,000 coin price range. These price ranges have been updated recently and we're looking at Black Friday as a time where there's so many SPCs that are out and prices go crazy on fodder for sure. But I just think it's too early, right? You think about it, that's a lot of time where you'd be sitting with those high rated cards in your club for an investment. So we'll be watching that. But I think it's still a bit too early to get invested there, in my opinion. Now, also, yesterday, some news. Of course, we had the EA tweet, right? Every Monday, two hours before content, just expect this tweet because I think it's going to be happening, guys. And it's cool. At the same time, it's like EA is trying to combat the leakers, I guess, on their own. We are getting some more player of the months this week. Centurion player SBCs, which we'll talk about in this video. Another showdown, upgrade packs, and a flashback. Now, this flashback SBC, I'm going to take a guess and say that it is actually going to drop on Friday. That's my guess. Or like Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Sometime during this next weekend. It could be during the week this week. Who knows? But it seems also like it could be an SBC that drops this upcoming weekend. It's a lot less. Like if you remember last week's content tweet, there was like a third row and there's a lot more. But this does seem like it still could be decent content. And we'll talk a little bit more about that today on Tuesday. Also, as a part of this game right now, if you watched one of the craziest games of Premier League that I've ever seen, my team ended up losing. But it was just a crazy game with so many stoppages, VAR, all the madness yesterday. Mudrick is going to get upgraded because Spurs just wanted to get all the red cards that they could. Um, and yeah, they're going to upgrade this card. Plus 287 rated Mudrick is incoming. I don't know when. It's always a toss-up with these uh, cards, man, because sometimes they upgrade them the day after. Sometimes it takes them like an entire week. So hopefully it's a sooner upgrade for this Mudrick card. I know a lot of you guys did him. My Kulusevsky is sad right now. 
but GG's to Chelsea for getting the dub. And uh, yeah, that card's getting a plus two here very soon. So keep an eye out closely right there. That's kind of all the content. A lot that happened yesterday and a lot to look over. But I wanted to cover it all because it is very, very important. And also today, heading into what I want to discuss today on the video is it's Tuesday and we're talking about market. We're talking about cards that are going to upgrade. It is Champions League Day once again. And we have ourselves an opportunity for some market movements and specifically some cards that I think you might want to look at selling because we have cards today that are vying for their second upgrade. And guys, we're going to talk about this a bit, but after these cards get their second upgrade, they're no longer live. Oh my gosh. How much is Holland? What? what Holland is three mil. What? 2.9 million coins that wore a rarity spike for him. 3 million coins for this Holland card, but City are on the brink. If they win today against Young Boys, that would clinch their spot in the knockout rounds. Today is a big day, match day four, because if a team has won every single game so far in Champions League, if they win today for match day four and moving on to the rest of this week, they technically clinch the knockout rounds, which would mean Holland this Friday would get his final upgrade and go to a 94 rated card already in november a 94 rated holland because they would clinch 12 points which means again mathematically possible um to go into the next round and that means upgrades for a lot of these cards which also means you need to think about selling if you have one of these or any card like Lewandowski, right? They're playing Shakhtar Donetsk. They're playing today. This is a card you got to be careful with, guys. Lewandowski is up so much, so much. He's like 730,000 coins for this UCL level card. Guys, this card is not worth 730K. I'm just I'm being honest. His inform is 185,000 coins. Yes, this one has a major pace boost. But we always see this every single year. It's these live cards. Modric, I'm a little worried about, although he's relatively closer to the price he should be um, on this market, in my opinion. But you just have to be very careful with some of these guys that are going to be getting their, their second and final upgrade. You got to sell into the hype. At least sell... If they win, sell after the game or sell before Friday. But even think about selling before the game today. Just look at what happened last year with Aubameyang. After Chelsea clinched their last and the second and final upgrade for him to get a plus two. I was at this game, by the way, last year where they clinched the upgrade with the win. It was an easy win for them. It was crazy. One of the only Champions League game I've ever been to. Anyways, that's just crazy. That was a year ago that we were in London. Anyways, uh, Aubameyang went from 700,000 coins all the way down to 580k just the weekend after the upgrade and of course into black friday these card prices absolutely tank there's so many examples of cards like this dropping so just be very careful especially with somebody like lewandowski with modric who a lot of people have invested in they play tomorrow they don't play today but this is again just an opportunity to probably sell in the hype if you don't want to risk it and also guys i want to point this out as well what cards have been going up while the rest of the market has been going down? These cards, the live road to the knockouts, that should tell you another thing about these cards, that they are overpriced, they are live, everybody's waiting for the upgrades, you gotta sell into the hype, it just works like this every single year, that is the way to do it. Sell into the hype, maybe if you really want to risk it, sometimes after they clinch that second and final upgrade, uh, they could go up in price a little bit before they get to the next game. But even I look at like Luis Diaz, man, how in the world is this card 1.1 million coins? I don't understand. Yeah, it's a great card, but 1.07 mil, like no, this card is not worth that much in my opinion. And he's going to drop off a lot with a potential second and final upgrade coming this Friday if they're able to get that win. Now, some cards who are maybe on their like first win, um, maybe it's like, like DePaul, right? DePaul they could get their second win. He hasn't got an upgrade yet. This is a card that, okay, maybe you could hold on to a little bit longer if you wanted to risk it. If they beat Celtic, they weren't able to beat Celtic the last match week, but if they beat Celtic, maybe DePaul actually goes up in value after this game because they get the W. That's the sort of, if you want to risk, that's the sort of risk you could take on a road to the knockouts card. But again, 
be careful with these guys that are basically confirmed to be getting another upgrade because they are going to win their, their game today or tomorrow, and they're going to get that final upgrade. Because once cards are no longer live, they always drop off. So we should see more price drops on Road to the Knockouts this time around than we did a couple of weeks ago because the market itself is just dropping so much. So just be very careful with those. I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about those today. I also want to spend a little bit of time talking about an SBC that might be dropping on this game today, Iago Silva. If, if my guess is it's today. I mean, this is an SBC that would probably not be dropping on Thursday. It seems like the Thursday player SBCs are like the ones that are just not as hype. Think about the last couple of weeks for the Centurions cards, for the Trailblazers. Thursdays were kind of slower days. I think if they're going to drop a uh, Tiago Silva, he is leaked multiple times. He's been leaked. This just seems like an SBC that would be today or tomorrow. And this has potential. This has potential to be one of those market moving center back SBCs because a lot of people would like to do this card if he has good stats. And it's all about the pace, right? We've talked about this a little bit. I don't want to belabor the point, but an anticipate plus Tiago Silva, medium high, six foot. If they give him 73 pace or above, He's got great play styles. He's got great stats. Some people at the beginning of the game even used his gold card with 51 pace, saying that it was very good with the play style plus. This could be a big time SBC that a lot of people would want to do. I know we just had Blanc. I'm almost done with his SBC, right? We've had Vidic as well. So center backs are, you know, plentiful in this game at the moment, but a lot of people would do this. A prem center back could be big. Would I invest in Chelsea links? The answer to that, the easy answer is I would not because I could also see this SBC being very overpriced, but it's coming at a good time, right? The Mudrick upgrade is coming in. Uh, some people have already started to invest in these links. Like, I mean, Sterling was 45K and he's up at 51,000 coins right now. So I would be very careful with investing in more Chelsea links. What I would do is wait for the SBC to drop. And if it's going to be a really good value SBC, which I would say, I don't know, there's like a 50 50 shot because. A Tiago Silva like this could be very overpriced, could be like 350,000 coins. And then at that point, you'd be like, why would I just, why would I do that when I could do Blanc or when I could do Vidic instead? Uh, but what I would say is if this Tiago Silva is very well priced, watch out for other center backs on the game. You think about Virgil van Dijk, you think about other Brazilian center backs like Militao, Kunde. It would be a, an SBC that could crash a lot of prices, right? We see this plenty of times. We haven't seen it a ton this year. But like when EA drops a really sick SBC that a lot of people want to go and do, players in that same position drop because a new substitute card on the game that people are doing instead of well, the one they had. So they sell those cards. And then at the same time, if this Tiago Silva is a very good value, you would see some Premier League cards probably go up. Heroes and maybe some of your Brazilian Premier League cards that get those green links to that brand new SBC player could be rising first and the most. So watch out for those sort of movements, but we'll be able to decipher that right when we see the SBC. If it's cheap, if the stat upgrade is really good, then there would be some movements there. But I just wanted to preface that a little bit for you guys and also talk about fodder. Would I invest for a Tiago Silva? Probably not. I, I wouldn't. If we see the SBC come out and it's like maybe like two or three squads and it's like 84 or like 83, 84, 87, like... That wouldn't be too bad of a price. I know 83s and 84s are a bit inflated right now, but if it's like one of those where it's got a low number of squads, but maybe a higher rated squad as a part of it, you could see some of the higher rated fodder move. But usually player SBCs don't make high rated fodder or fodder as in general move as much as the upgrade packs do. People love the packs. They love the player species left because they just try to craft those over time, which right now, plenty of packs in objectives, good SBCs to craft through the crafting objective, 75 plus player picks. You know, I think that fodder would not have a very high chance of moving a lot today, but it's one of those we'll probably decide on the fly. If you think, yo, I got to do this Thiago Silva, then maybe you club stock a little bit of fodder just to have it ahead of time. But I don't think fodder would move a ton unless it's got some pretty specific requirements and it's a really, really good value SBC. Now, like I mentioned, again, we could get another upgrade pack today, which again, you think about 83s and 84s moving in value. They could. They could move in value today once again. They could move up. Last Tuesday, they did. Uh, but they're already so inflated. Will they go higher? It just depends on the content today, man. So be careful. But this is the place where people are buying right now. So if you want to risk it today, you could try to try to get some 83s on bid at maybe like 1.5 or 1.6. 
and list them for like 2.2 to 2.3. If we get another sort of upgrade pack today, like an 84 double and 85 plus that is one time repeatable, two times repeatable, and it's got an 83 year and 84 rated squad requirement, those guys are going to go higher. So it seems sky high, but they could go higher depending on the SBCs that we get today. And for the rest of the market, just continue to watch rare cards for flips. I flipped a Timo Werner yesterday for a couple thousand coins of profit, a couple Tiago Jalos. I did lose a few coins here on this Ford line, but I wanted to get my coins back on him. Um, I bought a Zanetti that's not doing too hot right now. Valverde looking to make a couple thousand coins on. But watch the rare cards, the icons, the heroes, the out of pack specials that I continue to mention because those are the cards that you can best make coins right now if you're flipping and if you want to be just careful and, and avoid the market at all costs right now because you don't want to risk it, don't want to chance it. That's that's fine too. But also watch the road to the knockouts today because those cards are rare. Some people will still hold on to them for their upgrades. There might be some drop-offs after the game and maybe some potential trading opportunities um, on the market there. Now, really quickly, we talked about the Monday market rise yesterday. It was pretty small, let's be honest. Like there was a few cards that went up nicely, like Ferland Mendy went up from like 70, low 70s, mid 70s, up to like 83K. I think Edder Militao had a bit of a decent rise. You know, Kyle Walker maybe went up a little bit. Davies went up a little bit. Salah, there were some okay rises yesterday, but there really wasn't that many insane ones. From 72K to 77, like there's a couple thousand coins of profit in Militao yesterday. So it wasn't a mental market rise. It was just a small one. Again, I would just continue to shout that out-of-pack specials are the place to be trading right now on this game. The informs, the rare stuff is where you want to be. But again, like even this inform Sun card, be very careful with Inform Sun because he hasn't dropped off that much. Yeah, he was 780 and he's down to 740, but this is a card that's going to end up being five, 600K again in a couple of weeks' time. So just be careful whether, whether that drop happens during the week this week or during one of the upcoming weekends. I think you still just have to be a little bit careful with this market at the moment right now. Last thing I want to talk about in the video today is a car design for a promo that is coming next. Triple Threat is the name of the next promo, and Joao Felix is not a leak. This is just the official car design. It definitely looks like it's going to have something to do with like three players from the same club or nation or something. Uh, because it kind of lines up with what we had with the triangles and also the three different players in the season progress, right? The three Nigerians, the three Belgians, and I forget the final nation in there. Uh, Dutch, Netherlands, I think that might be the last one. But this is the official car design, and that looks kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of one of the old ones to watch promo designs, but you see a kind of 3D look in here with the triangle. It looks nice, it looks cool. So hopefully we get some more news on what this triple threat promo is going to look like here in the next couple of days i'm assuming the leaks will start pretty soon but we don't have any official information yet so right now we're just kind of chilling through centurions trying to make a couple coins here or there and um just hope that ea finished off centurions with a dub make sure you're keeping up to date on your evolutions as well we'll open two packs to end the video off come on smalling is that who this is stones even better 85 rated we take those we'll take that an 82 double so many fodder packs like this through objectives right now. Like, that is great. An 85-rated card, that's going boom straight into the Blanc SBC. I'll do a couple more upgrade packs in the club. We'll be sitting pretty. And the second and final pack is going to be, is that Sebastian Holler? Okay, not a very good pack there. 83-rated for him. And Taremi in behind. So I'll take an 85, though, for a couple of free packs. Boom. And that gives me 83s where I can go and do either the Team League upgrade or something else that is a 83-rated squad here pretty soon so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new see you guys in the twitch stream today it's been nathan for the count and catch you guys there peace out